It's a very long story. My parents were alcoholics and were in and out of prison. It was a pretty violent situation. Like, I felt like my life was in danger, you know? Like, the abuse was getting worse and worse. Me and my stepfather wasn't getting along, so basically my mother allowed him to put me out. My mother was, uh, you know, growing up, she was a hardcore um, heroin addict. My mom uh, asked me to leave because I um, had a baby. It was too much for her. I was in the Covenant house with my mom when I was two. I was homeless since I was 14. I was in and out of the shelters, um, on the streets, off and on for almost two years. I'm not going back there. I refuse to. I didn't have a home. Uh, my mother was an addict. That living space was pretty much a drug facility. So it all kind of came to a head when my mother stabbed me, and I ran away from home. And uh, after about six months of being in the streets, I found Covenant House. We did have some really rough time. She never told me what it was. She always told me that, you know, we were staying in a hotel. I didn't know any better. I thought it was a really nice hotel. And I didn't have anywhere else to go, and I heard about Covenant House, so I um, came here for safety, basically. It and I was bouncing from house to house, but it wasn't until I was 20, and I've been here ever since, and they've helped me with so much so far. Having everybody in your life kind of turning their back on you and, and you realize that you're on your own now. My experience at Covenant House changed me as a person because I knew while I was still skeptical of people, I knew that there was a chance that not everyone was out to get me. And, uh, you know, it made me feel hope for the first time. I remember, like, the weirdest things, like painting some guy's nails with, like, highlighter and running around with, like, a really good friend of mine. The staff here were so welcoming and warming, and they reassure you to make you feel like, you know, everything is going to be OK. They help you with everything. It was helpful, like it felt okay, it felt safe. Like I didn't feel like oh, I have to worry about, you know, like what's gonna happen here. I didn't, I didn't get that feeling. At the time I was considering switching jobs to other things and uh, they really kind of helped me to stay on track of what I needed to get done. They're there for me through everything and they help and they've been there. I'm able to go to them whenever I have an issue. Although that seems like minimal to other people, that meant a lot to me, you know, somebody's looking out for me. You know, it's just me, like, I don't have no kids, and, you know, I don't have, like, a family or anything, so it's just just to know that you have people out there just, look, you know, looking up to you and, and you're something positive to somebody is a good feeling. Through anything that, any situation that came up while I was here, that was one thing that the staff definitely pressed upon was always keep looking forward, always keep going towards what you're trying to accomplish, which is stability and um, housing. The bad things in life give me strength because like, I had so much of it. And when you have a surplus of something, it's so wasteful to just let it sit there or to let it just go to waste. It molded me into the person that I am today. Like I'm very appreciative for what I've had. And I was able to pass that down to my children. I think that going through a lot, like as a little kid, does change your perspective. I don't think people believe that little kids remember everything. But I know what it's like to see my mom cry and to see her hurt because she felt like she couldn't give me everything, but, yeah. Yeah, I think about Covenant House every day because without Covenant House life, where would I be? I wouldn't have had that, like, stepping stone. I wouldn't have had that place to kind of, like, gather myself and pick up my pieces and put myself back together. I want my son to have every opportunity possible for him, you know, not, and, you know, not to feel neglect, not to feel hurt, not to feel like his mother or father aren't there for him. Um, I want him to always know that he has his parents there for him. Covenant House. My dearest Covenant House. Words cannot explain how much you mean to me. It is all thanks to the Covenant House that I have this day. In a time of desolation and despair, you were a helping hand, an anchor, and a friend. The shelter you provided gave me warmth. The food you fed me gave me nourishment. 
and your love gave me hope. Thank you so much for giving me a chance all those years ago to replant my roots and leave my past behind. You are a constant reminder to me that there are great people out there who genuinely cares, and for that, I will forever thank you. I love you all and appreciate your continued work and efforts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I honestly just want to say thank you because my mom wouldn't be where she is without the help that she got when she was 16, so thank you. <laughs>